an ominous sight for a country still recovering from the last deadly tsunami just a year and a half ago. 550 are dead and close to 300 are still missing from Monday's tsunami. In 2004, a much larger one killed close to 280,000 people in South Asia. The disaster has put tsunami concerns at the forefront of people's minds. I knew people that were in uh, Indonesia uh, and along that coast up to Thailand last time the tsunami hit and uh, I'm sure there was no uh, warnings there, warning signals there either. So it would worry me a lot, yes. California's Office of Emergency Services is working on a tsunami plan, but it has not been finalized. Until it is implemented sometime in the fall, there are gaps in the system. The Tsunami Warning Center has a way of notifying first responders, but letting the public know can be challenging. Los Angeles County currently does not have air raid sirens on the beaches to notify people. We're looking at that. It's a very costly um, issue. This worries Southland beachgoers. It makes me feel insecure because the United States, LA, it's such a huge country. We're, we're, we have a reputation of being so rich and powerful, yet we're so unprepared for these natural disasters. Well, it's quite scary, I think. Uh, as a tourist, I am... Um I, I sleep in a hotel right up here. I was thinking about it yesterday, actually, when I heard about it. And I have my children in the water, too, so it's a scary thought. Beneath this horizon lie steep cliffs underneath the ocean. Experts say a major offshore earthquake could trigger a tsunami, which could devastate L.A. County's coast. If you have a magnitude 7 earthquake offshore the L.A. basin, I'm sure that you can, luckily you could have run up of the order of few of a few meters, and that would be enough to, to, to destroy uh, facilities along the beach and on the houses. So uh, it's important that the population be, be, be aware of, of, of that risk. A Southland tsunami would be less forceful than an Indonesian one because of the nature of plate tectonics. South Asia is on a subduction zone where one plate sinks below another one. The California plate sits alongside the Pacific plate moving side to side, which generates less pressure, less forceful tsunamis. Still, experts warn beach residents to take the threat seriously. If you are living near the beach and you feel, if you are near the beach and you feel some ground shaking, you don't wait for any warning. You just move away from the beach and try to get some higher to some high elevation soon. Dr. Avwak says beachgoers typically have only a few minutes to move to safety as soon as a tsunami warning hits. Residents hope the tsunami plan is finalized and implemented before anything like the devastation in Indonesia happens here.